Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing this unit here from Bobby Boss and today say thank you to them, huge shout out. The wig I'm reviewing comes from Bobby Boss. It is the style Avery, if I'm saying that right, A-V-R-I. Would you pronounce that Avery? I'm gonna pronounce it Avery. And I have it in the color HL27 slash 01B30. So, if you guys are interested in watching this install, hearing what I think about it, all that good stuff, then continue to watch. And of course, do your thing and subscribe to the channel as well as um, hit the notification bell and follow me on my other socials. They'll be here on my screen and in my description bar below. Now, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're jumping into this Bobby Boss unit. I have it in the style Avery, and it's in the color HL27 slash 01B30. So this unit is everything, and I'm very, very pleased because initially I was like, I just feel like I'm gonna get this unit, and it's probably not gonna be as great as I want it to be, but they showed out okay so this unit comes with a 13 by 4 hand tied lace parting space it also has a plucked hairline and then it comes in a bunch of colors you guys and they also have made it with this medi fresh safe and clean cap so it's supposed to keep the bacteria out great for ventilation and just be pretty comfortable on your head so since it has a 13 by 4 lace space it is a free parting but i am going to leave it with a middle part today So I went with the easy route of installing this unit and I'm just going to use a quick holding spray just to hold it in place. Now the lace does come a little bit light so um, I wish I would have used some tint spray on it but I just left it as is. I wanted to see how it would turn out like that but let me just go ahead and say I actually have worn this unit since installing and making this video and it now blends just directly onto my head and I don't need to use any type of lace tint spray. I just cut off the lace first before I am going to freeze it down and hold it in place. The color placement of the little highlight pieces in the front is perfect. Um, I've had a unit that was colored um, similar to this in the past and it was about it was longer and straight, but I love how this one has the loose, carefree type of curls and that it is shorter. So this unit is about, I would give it about 14 to 16 inches. The density of it isn't super high, but it's like that right amount of hair. So it isn't super full, making it look like you have like a helmet head, but it also isn't less hair to make it look super flat and look like it doesn't have enough bundles in it. The parting space was actually pretty visible, but I did add a little bit of makeup there just to add a little color to it, you know. It also took the heat really well. I definitely went on it with my hot comb and just flattened out those roots some so it can look as natural as possible. The texture of the hair is a little bit more silky. Um, definitely not yakky texture whatsoever, but the silkiness of the hair feels really, really good. I loved how they plucked this hairline. Now you definitely can go in, of course, and pluck it more if you would like, but I do like how they have it. It looks very, very natural. You could also do some baby hairs in this unit if you would like. I did not do any baby hairs today because I just like to kind of steer away from those a little bit, but it will look just as beautiful with it. I also went around that lace area with a little bit of my powder, just blending it in some. So the different lighting settings in my, um, and my little filming space right now is a little bit different. So if I get closer to the camera, you know, real detailed, you can see that the lace is pretty much undetectable. But however, when I scoot back some, you can see some of that lace peeking through. And kid you not, I did cut off a lot of the lace. Like I got extremely close to that hairline. So um, I would say first time out of the packaging, probably add some tint spray to it. But after you wear it so much afterwards, that won't be an issue because I think my makeup kind of got on the lace a little bit too, you know, so it's tinted now. 
basically in its own way <laughs> but um i highly recommend trying this unit guys it's a great quality wig bobby boss you did that for sure i will have the link in my description bar below so you can purchase you one as well and if you're not feeling the color just remember they do offer a whole bunch of colors in this unit so that's all i got for y'all All right, you guys, so that completes today's video and review. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. I'd be happy to hear about it. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, but that's all I got for you for today's wig. Make sure you guys check out their website. They have so many beautiful units available on their site. And then make sure you leave me a comment and leave me a thumbs up as well. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.